Hi, I'm Van Van Antwerp, and it's my honor and privilege to be the president of, of the Society of American Military Engineers this year. I follow in the footsteps of some great Americans. One's Greg Shear from the Navy and Del Uberg from the Air Force. And what a privilege it is to be in the engineer community in this very interesting point in our history. And if I could use one word to describe this time, I would say it is historic. Uh, we're at historic workloads. We are using historic levels of contractor support in the engineering world. And we as a society have a very unique privilege of being able to gather groups together and to, to increase the professionalism. And so that's what I'd like to talk to you about today. I'd like you to talk to you about the strategic focus of the Society of American Military Engineers. We gathered together a little earlier in the year with a strategic focus group and, and kicked around some things for this year. And one of the things I told them early because of my love for hockey is that there was a, a great saying by Wayne Gretzky when he was given one of his awards for an individual achievement award. They asked him, what's your secret, Wayne? And he said, my secret's this, it's very simple. I skate to where the puck is gonna be. And so that was my challenge to the staff at SAME and some of our directors. Where's this, where is the puck gonna be for the Society of American Military Engineers? Where's it gonna be for military engineers and for the contractors that support the military? What came out of that were, was really four strategic focus areas. And I'd like to just talk to you about those and talk to you what we're gonna do. But before that, the other challenge was to put those focus areas in this context. How can we as a society, number one, set the standard for our profession, where we would set a high bar, where we would be involved in those things that matter to the profession and have to do with creating this wonderful, what we call building great engineers. The second thing is, where could SAME make its unique, positive contribution to this nation? And there, there are some places that were very uniquely placed because of our military and our civilian connection, thus the Society of American Military Engineers. And then the third thing is, how do we build not just the society to last, but build the engineer profession to last? So that is kind of an overarching metric, if you will. Out of that came our four focus areas, and here they are. The first area has to do with sustainability, and this really has to do with setting the standard for our profession. What we wanted to do is be on the cutting edge of greenness, the cutting edge of lead silver, lead gold, and lead platinum, the cutting edge of building facilities so that their O&M costs, their energy costs, building sustainable facilities. And this also goes into the operation and maintenance part. So that is one of our focus areas, to be on the cutting edge of that and to really drive the standard for our profession. The second area is really in diversity. As we look out at the engineer profession, unfortunately, most of the people look like me. They're white males. And what we wanna do is really take advantage of this very unique time in our history where our Hispanic population is growing, our female population that's in colleges and has the potential to study engineering is growing. So we as a society want to get out there and be more involved in those things that are going to increase the diversity of the engineering profession. We already have some great partnerships with HENAC and with the BEA, which is the Black Engineer of the Year Awards, and those things that are going to get us more involved where we can touch the diversity of this country, and we can have our profession be more of a reflection of that. The third thing is really an exciting one, and this has to do with our K through 12 initiative. We know that some young people today are opting out of the engineers because they don't take their math and science. But we're taking a little different approach. We've got some wonderful camps. We're getting into the, the middle schools and even into the, the earlier educational process. And here's what we're, what we're doing with the kids. We're saying, come out and see an engineering project. We're not talking to them just about math and science. That'll come later. What we want to do is excite them about the engineering profession. I always go back to the example of one of my sons who took piano lessons. Well, I took piano lessons, and I can't play a stitch today. But my son, he took piano lessons. In the very first week, rather than the way I learned, where you learned the scales first and eventually you would play a song, 
his teacher taught him a song first. In fact, it was the sting. I can remember it in my head today because that's all he could play. But he could play the sting. And after about a week, he got pretty good at it. So our philosophy is the same with the young people. Let's get them involved and let's take them out and show them a building. Let's show them a a rehab of a dam. Let's show them something that's wonderful out there that they're going to go and say, wow, I'd like to do that. And then you can talk to them, well, that corner is a 90 degree angle and you can talk to them about the math and science. So that's the third focus area. The fourth focus area really falls in that part, how do we build the society to last? As we looked over the membership that we have, Um, I'm very excited about the civilian membership and the corporate membership. But one area that we've had a drop in the last few years has been in the military membership. And if you're going to keep this wonderful culture and the uniqueness of the Society of American Military Engineers, you've got to have a robust military membership to go with that wonderful civilian and corporate membership. Because one of the real wonderful things about being in any society, and I'm in a number of them, I'm in four different societies. One of the unique things about this one, though, is that military-civilian connection. It's that dealing with the corporate world that deals on DOD projects of Air Force, Army, and all over the world. That's the uniqueness. So in order to keep that uniqueness, we need to make sure our membership and our military uh, is, is up to par. And so here's our goal that the strategic group set for this year and next, that by the end of 2010, that we will increase our military membership by 5%. So it's a very exciting time. Those are our strategic focuses. To the leadership of SAME out there uh, who have already received a letter from me with these four focus areas, I want to thank you for your participation in this. And together, we're going to go there. Why? Because we see where the puck's going to be, and we're skating towards it. So God bless you all out there. Let's knock it out of the park. Have a great year.